Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm getting us a tripod because today we are venturing into the living room. It's been a minute since we have. This is what the living room is currently looking like. And I'm gonna show you guys what the plans are that I have for the space. This I've been waiting on for a long, long time. So, come on. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my sanctuary, my safe space, my home. The one place that I really enjoy being more than anywhere in the world. This is the space where I cancel plans to stay in. I invite friends over to. I'm just happy to be here. As a result, I really like doing things to elevate the space a little bit and make it feel more like home. I want it to feel like a luxurious experience and so I'm continuously doing things to it. Every time there is a box this size, Myself and my neighbors are wondering, what did Janine buy? Sometimes I surprise myself. Sometimes I don't even know what I'm getting myself into. Except this time, I knew exactly what I was getting myself into because I knew what my plans for the space was and what I wanted it to look like. So, I stumbled upon this set on Amazon that excites me so much. Mia is in the background. Yep. Honey bear. So I knew that I wanted something for the wall because for a long time the wall has been very empty. I knew that I didn't want something this size, kind of small, but I also knew that I didn't want anything that was too big. Until I stumbled upon this set. Right now the current theme, the current theme of my living room is basically gray, gold hints of black yeah basically gray gold and hints of black here and there so i knew that i wanted something for the wall but i wasn't sure exactly what i wanted it to look like and i feel like i stumbled up on one the perfect size for the wall and two just the perfect design what i really um was interested in was um Spackle art, I really did love that, but those were so expensive, I couldn't justify it. So I landed on these and I said that because they are the perfect size that I would want them to be. If anything, I could always turn it into what I really want. I could buy this spackle and turn this into speckle art. The size of the canvas is great. It's framed. I can always change a few things here and there about it. I absolutely love this. So we're going to see. Have my little tools. Truth is, I don't really know what I'm getting myself into. might end up having to put two pieces on this wall I'm not really sure we're gonna see because I don't want it to look like it's doing too much either but I need to figure out how to mount these and I'll come back this is the before I went ahead and I hung the bits in the wall to hang the painting onto and I also went ahead and screwed the little thing into the back so this is the moment of truth and we are going to see I hope that I hung them in the right spot I kind of measured it ahead of time. You know, I hope I hang them in the right spot because I don't want to have to take them out and do them again and I don't want them to be lopsided. But I also know that when it comes to hanging things on the wall, sometimes it's a little bit lopsided. I'm also thinking that I should have probably bought um, command strips, but I forgot to buy it ahead of time. I also didn't expect this painting to come right now. So here we are. Out of the wall. No, 
God. This just stressed me clean out. Wait, am I, was I supposed to nail it in more? Okay, maybe I should nail it into the wall a little bit more. What? You guys, one of this already popped out of the wall and it's stressing me clean out, and these people only send you but so much. I, I don't know if I could get it back from, from underneath there, but maybe I should nail them in more. Let's see. I'm sure this one. That's the one already pissed me off. I need to get it back from under there. Shh. Not me almost losing the next one. My slow ass didn't realize that you gotta. I'm yeah. gonna move this couch forward now to get that back. So guys, are we able to see? Oh, that is so aesthetically pleasing. Are you kidding me? You know what it is with me? I always procrastinate. I always wait for a while. I always have to do a few things before I decide on something that I want for the space. But because I follow my gut, I'm always pleased whenever I do finally get something. I've wanted to get something for this living room wall for such a long, long time. And I'm so happy with what I got right now. Anyways, that's it. Thank you, bye. Appointment that I clearly missed. Ah. Uh, okay, tomorrow I could do 10 a.m. Am I not just going over my results? Okay, all right, thank you so much. Okay, bye. One thing's for sure and two things for certain, I'm going to outdo myself. You know how long I've wanted some art for my living room wall here? And I've gone back and forth, put things in my card and took it out, and I feel like this is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I absolutely love it. Minus the baby stuff that you're gonna see on the floor, I absolutely love this. Screaming. So we're gonna do a little overview of the living room. It is absolutely stunning. Ah! Hold on, honey. Do I feel like it's completed? Ah! Yes. The couch I got for Ray from Raymore and Flanagan. These throw blankets. I got them off of Amazon on a sale for like ten dollars quite some time ago. I linked them in my Amazon storefront, but I'm pretty sure they're not ten dollars. The throw pillow covers I got off of Amazon. Those covers didn't come with the couch. You know, I just have black, green, and gold going on here. And then, you know, these three paintings, I got those off of Amazon as well. Love them. Love, love, love them. This ottoman I got from uh, Walmart. And then the serving tray I got off of Amazon, the candles, bath and body works, the coasters, I got from Amazon the tissue box I got from Amazon as well as much of those things that I could link I will definitely link that throw I got it from one of my friends and um, I have the matching blanket for the throw the matching rug for the throw inside of my bedroom
You were crying to come in this living room? Ah. One foot of shoe. Ah. And of course, I still have my plant here. She is thriving. And then I have this full one from out in the entryway area. I put in the living room here because I put the real one in the entryway. I'm going to give you guys an overview of the entryway as well. Hello, everyone. This is the completed entryway area. I just got this plant from my friend. Ideally, I would love to put the plant up there because that one is dying thanks to Mia. But um, this is what it looks like. Lately, I've been thinking about changing out the console table, but I don't really know yet. This is our latest addition. It's definitely censored, but that's what it looks like turned on. Chaos. Mia is down there somewhere. But this is definitely the entryway. Let me put the plant and show you guys what that would look like. I think that would look so very good there. This one would look nice on the floor too, but I can't leave it there because of Mia. So, oh, that looks cute. And this one is supposed to grow so much more. But this is what we're working with. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, bye.